Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jay Devil. Um, okay, so this one of these moments where I need to make a video, um, but I've literally I've got no gameplay to show you, so I'm just gonna be doing it off cam like this. Okay, so Josh did his uh, newest update for um, matchmaking feedback. For take a look at it. Oh, pardon me, I've just eaten. Um, okay, so basically his first part of his post is. Uh, the, uh, discussing the idea of um, reconnecting, join back to a game if you get disconnected. Um, he likes the idea, but apparently it's just not a feature we're seeing in Halo 5. I'll probably see it in Halo 6, but that's not really what I want to talk about. Uh, what I want to talk about is his current opinion on FFA settings. Right, I find this one a little bit ridiculous. So, the, this is... Cutting. There have been some suggestions that we refresh the FFA playlist. This is something we are definitely looking at. Some of you have suggested we just switch to using the HTS settings. We have to be a little careful there because unlike Team Marina or HTS, FFA playlist is not traditionally being one-to-one -one with tournament settings. Okay, so we all pretty much knew this. Like we all, we all, we've always seen how the FFAs go. Let's say World or HTS Daytona. You know, we've seen how they go. It's not always. We we already. No, we already fucking know this one. Okay. Uh, we don't have evidence that all people playing FFA want to play on the new settings. And we prefer to not split our population because it has consistently made matchmaking worse for both parties afterwards. I do empathize that we need a refresh though. So he does, he does accept the fact that we need to refresh FFA like many of us have already fucking suggested. Right? So... Yeah, you know he's there. He's halfway there, guys. Don't worry. He he he's halfway there. Some of you mentioned that if we switch to HTS settings, uh, more people will play than did than they did before. So we'll be fine. However, we haven't seen enough evidence that this will happen, given our experience and other playlists, including the main HTS playlist itself. With lack of evidence that major settings that split the audience can cause growth, we're careful with moving forward. Okay. Josh, 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 Josh. <laughs> you you were so close, buddy. You were you were that far away. That far away. And you fucked up. Okay. Go on the custom browsers, guys, right? You will see more HCS FFA custom games than you will see people playing the current FFA settings. The current FFA settings blow dick. We've already fucking established this. Ask some of the main fucking streamers on the game. Ask Campy, ask Vito, ask Milkshake. Fucking, there's so many people who enjoy watching and playing FFA on the new settings that for you to even say this is just fucking ridiculous. I mean, okay, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people isn't a lot of people when there's no fucking people in the playlist, okay? You understand what I'm saying? Right. If a good portion of people aren't playing FFA because the current settings fucking suck, why the fuck would you keep the settings that we have now? I mean, almost everyone who I ever ran into playing FFA is now playing it HCS style. Right? We're all in the custom games. In the custom browsers. I played rounds with uh, Vito and Aces Rippin the other day. Um, when Vito was doing his customs. And um, he set up a customs lobby for FFA on HCS settings and uh, GB settings. And you know what? They were fucking brilliant. Seriously, they were a lot fucking nicer. So, I really... <laughs> You know, I, I don't get where you're coming from, Josh. I, I, I really don't. I mean, there's so many more of us that agree that the current FFA sucks and that HCS settings are the way forward with this. A lot of us enjoy it a lot more than what you think. There's people that play the HCS playlist simply for the sake of playing it now. It's also, it's like, it's become this hybrid of sweaty tryhards and social players trying to play the same fucking game type, you know, and... <laughs> You know, people prefer the HTS settings. I mean, isn't that what, uh, you know, ranked was always about anyway? I mean, wasn't ranked always about the competitive player? About the people who want to go fucking balls deep tryharding in that particular type of game?
and then that's why you had the social settings. Now, fair enough. If you guys set up a sucky fucking social uh, social arena, that's on you guys. Don't destroy the rest of the competitive community for it. I mean, you already. I mean, free for free practically already caters to fucking the casuals as it is. I mean, look at Warzone. Warzone has more dedication in its servers than any other fucking playlist. You know, I rarely play a game of Warzone, and I've not played one in a long time, but back when I did, I never really had a game where I had heavy aim, or, you know, I think the most drastic thing to ever happen to a Warzone server was the idea of the Rex didn't work. But then that was some dickwad who decided, oh, we'll do an update for Halo 5. <laughs> Yeah, and, you know, break off the fucking shit at the same time. But, you know, still, end of the day, you know, <sighs> Warzone and the casual playlists get so much more fucking dedication with their servers than they do for the fucking Ranked Arena. I mean, Ranked Arena is fucking cancer, like, six out of ten times? I think I've seen so many instances recently where streamers are pissed with... The state of ranked arena, you know, makes sense. Makes some fucking sense. Anyway, back back to this post. Up, I'm I'm ranting. This isn't to say we won't do anything, but only that we have good reasons for being careful. Whatever changes we do make require the same amount of work. I've described in past updates, which need to be balanced against any other playlist work we are considering. Okay, so. Does anyone remember the glorious, like, fucking one-time rotational playlist called Multi-Team on Shorty Snipes? Alright, did you have good reason for that? There was more people in the Halo 5 community that enjoyed that more than your fucking, more than most of your fucking playlist. People enjoyed that more than Team Snipers, more than Team Arena. Possibly more than Team Slayer. I don't fucking know too much on the statistics with that one. But I know they were very loved playlists. And they had high population. And then you scrapped that. Brought us Assault. And then apparently Assault was so good. You threw it into Team Skirmish. Help me out. Help, help me out here guys. I mean like what the literal fuck. I mean seriously Josh. I, I know. Right. Uh, I know you are probably the one person who listens to us the most. You know, you're always on the forum, you do updates, you respond to people. You're the only person in 343 that gives us some kind of feedback from what we say. So please, Josh, I'm begging you, don't do an unishek. Fuck up and not listen to the community. The community knows what's best. If anything... If I really wanted to go so far, uh, you know, if I had the power in me, I would make Halo 6 have be a community-made game, personally. I wish that could be a thing, actually, guys, you know, if we could get that going over 343, you know, the next major Halo game created by the community for the community type thing, no, that would be great. Anyway, this is just my uh, response video to uh, Josh's new uh, forums. I'm probably going to do one of these every time he releases one now. So, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you don't, you know, obviously thumbs down and leave your bitchy comments below. The Anyway, that's on you. So, anyway, that's it from me, guys. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, peace out.